know y'all are sick of my videos, but this right here is some really, really important information. And it really does expand any kind of uh, cyber war that might be going on. Uh, the power was just released and turned over in other people's hands. And I'll explain what I'm talking about. Better yet, two minutes of this right here will explain it for me. One billion people's data from the Shanghai Police Database has shocked the global cybersecurity community. In this episode, we'll examine the serious consequences of this incident and who is capable of an act of such magnitude. Imagine for a second what governments or organizations would benefit from having available the personal information of one billion Chinese. A senior Chinese scholar, Yi Fuxian, from the University of Wisconsin, downloaded a sample of 250,000 individuals' private data from the leak. He found information related to his home province of Hunan. He said, The data contains information on almost every county in China and I even found data related to a remote county in Tibet, which has only a few thousand residents. He tweeted, I got the data by age and gender and am doing a detailed analysis. The severity of China's demographic crisis is beyond everyone's imagination. Yi used to be a doctor of medicine at a Chinese university and has long studied China's demographic problems. Through data analysis, he was the first to set off a trend of reflection on the Chinese Communist Party's one-child policy in both domestic and overseas online Chinese media. With a comprehensive data set of 250,000 people, Yi's research on China's population is now substantiated with solid proof. So, what will the world see when the personal data of 1 billion Chinese people are fully exposed? The more data, the more comprehensive, and the smaller the margin of error. The strategic information that can be drawn from such data includes, for example, the demographic trend, the peak of aging, and when the pension gap will arrive. Property ownership ratio in big cities can be projected based on the address and population information, such as how many properties are actually vacant. Also, from the personal income of the residents, one can get a glimpse of the overall economy of China. Based on the information of the transient population, the economic and employment situation of a given place can be extrapolated. We can also see the actual public security conditions based on the information of reported crimes at police stations. So, can we see the actual severity of the COVID-19 outbreak in China based on the medical visits, death population, etc.? Significant intelligence can be gathered from this data leak. All right, I just wanted to get you to... Actually, a 15 minute long video. I didn't want to disturb you all with a full 15 minutes of video. Uh, but you got to be aware that things are fixing to change because you just, you, just you just heard it. They got information off of 1 billion Chinese. They can extrapolate so much intelligence off of that that the CCP has been falsely putting out different narratives. Just, uh, you know, keep your powder dry, head on a swivel, and. Uh, Get that platinum and silver, guys. Have a nice day.